Good evening, everybody. Um, I'm Gillian Triggs, the Dean of the Sydney Law School, and I'd like to very warmly welcome all of you here tonight to the University of Sydney. This is the third in the series of annual voiceless animal law lectures that's been conducted here in partnership with the Law School, and we've been very honoured indeed uh, to work with Voiceless to uh, present what's proved to be uh, an extremely high caliber and fascinating series. And I can think of no more relevant and, and dramatic time to be discussing animal law than at the present. I imagine many of you here this evening watched the Four Corners program on the slaughtering of animals in the export trade um, of livestock to Indonesia. While I, I imagine, as all of you, found the program extremely hard to watch, I was unprepared for the outpouring of horror expressed the following day by the public uh, or by the immediate response by the Commonwealth Government uh, in halting the trade. Many legal and ethical questions have been raised by Australia's export policies in respect of live sheep and cattle, questions that I believe law and legal advisers and policy advisers can contribute to answering. And tonight we have a very special international lecturer and advisor, Peter Stevenson, who will provide reflections on animal law from the perspective of the European Union, and we welcome him very warmly to Australia into this lecture series. Uh, but he will then be followed, and, and we haven't done this in the past, but I think it's a great idea, by a panel discussion. And that will be with uh, Lee Rienan, MP, uh, whom I very particularly welcome, uh, Kate uh, Furman, uh, MLC, uh, again, a very warm welcome to the Sydney Law School. Uh, Dana Campbell, who I've met this evening, the CEO of Voiceless, and our own uh, Dr. Celeste Black um, of this law school, who's an author of a book on animal law and also a tax lawyer. Um, well, uh, then I, I repeat my welcome to you all for this evening's um, lecture, and, and I hand over uh, to your chair for this evening, Ruth Hatton, who is the recently appointed legal counsel for Voiceless. Welcome. <laughs> 